Okay, today we're going to be taking a look at some random events. These are very, very difficult things to find a lot of times in circuits. And an analog scope won't get you there. Um, so this is where a digital scope of particular type can really, really help you take a look at this thing. Okay, so we're looking at one signal here on this test board. And the signal is just a clock. It's just a, it's just a clock zooming along, right? And uh, it's, just, it's just perfect. And you can say, okay, everything's just fine here. And then somebody tells you there's some random event that happens and I just don't know why, just some random thing. So you go and you, you probe the signal and you say, nope, looks, looks fine to me, okay? And um, you start thinking, no, they, maybe they're telling the truth and I just don't see it, okay? So if you have a scope that has something that's called a runt pulse detection, okay? A runt pulse, see, boom, it found it right away. Um, let me let me clear this so so there is a, a funny thing that just happened there um, on that one edge and it happened very very infrequently extremely random okay uh we will go way back out again and oh, another one happened see it took a long long time for some event to happen you can see everything is perfect before and after it but there's this is one runt pulse that just happens right in the center of all this data. Okay, oh, there's another one. <clears throat> so you would never see these things on an analog scope. And a lot of digital scopes won't catch us either um, because you're just gonna be taking a look at triggering, triggering things, right? So under normal triggering, triggering events, uh, everything everything looks just fine and you just you will just never see that runt pulse. Now, what the runt pulse detection is you set up a window. There's also a window and there's also slopes. There's all kinds of, they're, they're found one again. Um, so what we have here is we have two different, um, two different levels that we're looking for triggering. We don't, we don't want to trigger anything that doesn't go in and out of that window, okay? And so it has to go into that window and it has to exit that window and it can't go above it. So this here will go through the window. It won't stay in the window. Whereas this little guy here, um, either that little negative going one, it entered the window and exits the same side, or the positive one it entered the window and exited the same side. Okay, and we can uh, say we want neg a negative pulse or a positive pulse in that window. So now it's triggering on, on a negative, negative going events, which there seems to be an uh, easier time touching these types of pulses on this, on this, uh, on this thing. All right. So you need to put the window sort of in the, in the right place to catch these things. And there you go. Uh, so it can be a very, very powerful tool. Um, and it's one of the reasons they put it on this Tektronics test boards because their particular oscilloscope, maybe it was the first one that ever had a feature like this, uh, but most of, the, most of the fancy scopes have that these days. And you can see once again, that everything's clean before it and everything's clean after it. There's just a little hint, a hint of maybe something going wrong right in the, in the center of all of this data. <clears throat> 